All right, everybody, what's going on? Junior with SOT Metalworks. Hope everybody is doing fine and outstanding today. All you ladies and gentlemen are having a great day. So, if you're new to the channel here, want to welcome you first off. Also, want to fill you in on what we got going on here. We got some 16-gauge uh, metal here on the table. We are running a Shop Saber CNC plasma table, 4x8. Going to cut out a fine, outstanding-looking sign here. A uh, subscriber ordered from us. I believe this one will be going all the way to Texas, if I'm not mistaken, but I uh, could be wrong on that. <laughs> but hard to keep up these days with all the stuff going on. But we're going to run you through the process of everything we do here, from getting the sign cut out, getting paint on it, stuff like that, and let you guys see the process. That way, maybe one day when you get ready to order your sign, you know all the ins and outs. All right, let's get into it and see how this one turns out. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, 
So right off the table, got her going on the Hastings Hay and Tree Farm. Pretty, pretty cool deer here. Uh, integrated the, the uh, pine trees in there. Got the round bell, got the tractor and the baler, round baler. Uh, got our mounting hose there. He said he's gonna mount this on an eight inch post. So had one little flub up and that's this one here. Uh, if you guys can see that, not uh, had a little bit of a blowout. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna trim this edge right here just a little bit, uh, sand all that down, make it look like it was part of it. I know it's a mess up, but I hate to cut a whole sign because of one little bitty sliver there. And with that round bell, we'll be able to integrate that in and you'll never ever really know anybody looking at it will be like, oh man, I didn't even, didn't even know that wasn't part of it. But you guys might not have caught that had I not said nothing, but some of you guys are pretty sharp on this CNC plasma table stuff and you probably would have seen that. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll square that little blowout away there. Got, uh, got fairly close with these up here. Should have left myself a little bit more room, but I think they're fine. Nervous about the mirror. But uh, I, it's it's on there pretty stout, so I think it'll I think it'll be fine. But liking this sign, it uh, the old round bell worked out pretty good. Not uh, not too 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 uh, difficult there whatsoever. Had to go back and change a few, uh, widen some uh, stuff so I had plenty of room for my lead ins and lead outs. But yeah, not uh, not too shabby whatsoever. Liking uh, liking the way that Hastings signs come out. Uh, the integrating the tractor and the baler. So uh, it was a little hard to do. I didn't know exactly which route to take this one. Uh, when you're trying to mix a hay farm and a tree farm together, uh, I didn't know which direction to go there. So <laughs> they, they uh, put me to the challenge on that one a little bit, but I think we knocked it out of the park. Awful good looking sign. I think the customer's gonna be happy with it. So we'll get over here and get some primer on it, uh, get a little paint on it, and we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> All right, guys, I sincerely apologize. Y'all gotta bear with me. It is hot as it, I'll get out here in the state of Kentucky. It's, it's crazy. But I just wanna interject here. Uh, the Hastings sign thought I had more great footage getting paint on here. I did not. If you need to know about any of that, go back to some of my older videos or wait for some of the newer ones to come out. We'll, uh, we'll have that for you. But I did want to uh, let you guys know this sign here, we had a few issues with shipping. Uh, UPS done us didn't do us a solid, did us dirty. I, I don't know how you want to put it, but I uh, had a little bit of catastrophe there. So we sent two signs, they were packaged in two separate boxes. He got one, didn't get the other one. Uh, and the one he did get looks like it was run over by an airplane. So we've had to recut these signs, well, one of them. Uh, the one that actually showed up was in good shape, he said, no, no issues, no problems. So Charles, if you watch this, extremely sorry for that. Uh, it wasn't on our end and it wasn't on the customer's end. Uh, it was somewhere in the middle, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, insurance covered down. And that's just something to keep in mind. Sometimes I may upcharge just a couple dollars to get that extra insurance in there for you guys when we do our shipping. So, yeah. Uh, Charles has been real patient with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being patient. That's a big, big deal for us. And we tried to uh, get that sign out just as quick as, as we could. Uh, I waited to post this video. I believe he's got his new sign now. Everything should be uh, good to go as far as I know. I've uh, been conversing back and forth with the wife on emails and stuff like that to make sure everything was up to date. But as soon as he told me it was damaged, I, we didn't even hesitate. I jumped right in, cut another sign out, started getting paint on it and everything. And we got the process rolling before he, uh, he, he ever sent the entrance money. So... Uh, I hate to lay that cat out of the bag like that. And I'm hoping I'm not getting out too much information, Charles. But just, guys, sometimes things happen with this shipping that's out of our control and out of your guys' control. Just be patient with us, and we'll get her squared away as well as we can. All right, so let's jump back into the video, get this sign in the photo booth, and get some good-looking pictures of it, and we'll wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. It's a good-looking sign, ain't it? All right, ladies and gents, in here in the photo booth with the wrap-up of the Hastings Hay and Tree Farm sign. I tell you what, I believe this one turned out pretty good. Got the old tractor and the baler in there. Got the round bell there on the side. Got the trees down at the bottom. Hard to incorporate a hay and tree farm sign, but I think we kind of knocked it out of the park on this one. I think this incorporates the hay and tree uh, part of everything pretty good. Uh, he seemed to like the tractor and the uh, hay uh, round baler there. Uh, of course, you know... That bell hay right there, she sticks out pretty good. I mean, that's uh, it, it's pretty identifiable how uh, how everything looks. So, 
All right, guys, if you need anything like this, look us up, SOTMetalworks.com, uh, or send us an email, shootersoptiontargets at gmail.com. Um, at gmail.com, yes. Uh, I'll get that right one of these days. <laughs> but uh, check us out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, the whole nine yards. We try to hit all the platforms, so be looking for stuff from it. Some of those you'll get uh, quicker updates than you were here on YouTube, but hey, we we try. We're uh, we're doing juggling a lot, trying to keep up with everything. But the wife's helping in, and it's working out tremendous. So we're gonna cut on out of here. Hopefully, everybody's staying safe. And you fine folks, remember, work smarter, not harder. We'll see y'all on the next one. We out.